perfect as well. They get the second. That's going to be C going over to yeah, Guild. That's, that's a perfect way to approach it. Just cracking it open through the kind of window room, through garage. And surprisingly, they, they ping saying, hey, it's vulnerable, but the player on the site still yeah. somehow got caught off from that peak, maybe feeling they had more information than they did. But for now, proactive. You can see a scene still trying to make the play, but his HP was exceedingly low, so he'll be the first to be picked up here in this post plant. But still, time sign to dwindle. It's a 4v3. We need to find a couple more kills and kind of quickly. Yeah, actually, Hip reading this perfectly, anticipating a lurk from Draken in mid. The TP away, so that's going to give them an opportunity to push onto site here. Alt lines get traded safe. Actually, going to find Taimu. That's all the way back from the spawn elbow here. Kristen, going to get one for his troubles, but time ticking away here. I don't know if he's going to be able to get out find both of these kills before getting defused it's way past it already so and look for everybody to die to the spike if possible Theo will get the kill and actually two will survive as uh, already guild have the spike planted decent post plants no one in the site itself but they're perfectly perfectly fine sat back here this should be a comfortable round let's have a look at the play coming up towards c long and a long it'd be lovely to watch that rather than bonk up there we go a little bit of a switcheroo See what these pistols can achieve. I'm not seeing too much either. I didn't actually get to see the buy. It looks just like classics at the moment, so I don't think there's too much to be in home about. I think there was a shotgun there, unless that was... Still trying anything funky, actually. And mm. Tropic looking to get a little bit aggressive over on A in general. Two down long and one Twisten in sewers. Kind of being baited in there. That's really nice work between Taimu and nice. Twiston. Just instantly one of them pulling the attention and swinging from the other side. Super hard to play against. Now Gilda left kind of with Spike not to hand. And yes, they've taken B, but look at Cypher. Already well and truly aware of the possibility of what's left open. I like that. It's the kind of infamous still here. Ooh. And Twiston no. is going to have to be forced to fight. He leaves it a little too long. You see him finds it. There's the swing out though. Hip wanted to commit. And for now, the battle has been won. A bit of a good trade out, I guess, trading effectively thus far for Guild. Still, they have to find that way to sight. Unfortunate there, but... One car gonna find a kill on the timer as well. Trying to get something done for mid. Left. And Tropic now in a 2v4. Guild can pretty much take wherever they want to here. They're gonna have the numbers advantage. Whatever they decide to do. Draken actually managed to get himself all the way into the defensive spawn here. So he's actually going to have the rotation card here. Law's got it all to do now. Finds the first kill. The recon bolt can obviously reveal him there. But sloppy trade to say the least. Now look towards the minimap because Draken now has backed off all the way towards C-Link. He's got that angle. Draken's got this all day long. Yeah. yeah, that was a nice one. I like that readjust from Draken there. He was a little bit like, more proactive, I think, and super easy, well aware of what's being utilized here. Nice work to use that against someone with a marshal. Just keep that angle. Super hard to hit. You see, and again, straight in, no fear. Shows nothing but confidence going in, but now down to 10 in the mag. Hits the reload, and now the site is there through the smoke, though. That's one pickup. The second piles in, and Yasin is greeting them with a smile, making it look oh so easy. A quick little nade as well, hindering approach with 17 HP. Does what he can, but even from the grave, does find a paint shell kill, but with two standing, the defuse is theirs. And I don't know where the hell the other players died from. Yassine's putting up numbers, but where the hell is the rest of the team? They'll be broken again. They'll still just be kind of, you know, waning on that front. But now Draken's up close. Does Hip realize how close he is? I don't think he does. Yeah, Draken's just walked straight through. He's been testing the waters by B constantly, but Omen v. Omen. Oh, no. It's going to be Draken to lose out this time. And now, I, was that necessary? No. Over peeking in middle for that information. I... You secured the site. I don't think you had to go for that fight towards the front, but maybe feeling with his teammate next to him, he could have maybe found that information, but it was an untradeable peak, which obviously puts him in a bad scenario now with three players standing. And nothing but a trap wire to hold down Z side. Neural Theft actually going to get popped here. 30 seconds Wait, left. did it get... It, no, it did go through. Apologies. I didn't see it on the minimap come through there, but... Hold on the side. Actually, Showstopper's going to get invested here also. Safe will fall on the side of the spawn elbow. Actually brings it to a 2v2. Very much doable here for Entropic. Twiston. Let's send it all the way through mid and try and get them down all the way yeah, down to That's great, long. though. It's going to offset the timing. That internal clock that ticks in your head when you're sitting there in a post plant. You're like, okay, well, now I need to worry about this angle. Now this one becomes prevalent. Yeah. He's a little ahead of it. And we might see him catch one off, but he's got to get a move on. Spots one backside, but now sees maybe enough information. But Leo trying to deal with one. Focus towards CT. Bonkar's got his back, takes down Taimu. And now it's on the one player, Twiston, trying to make it up towards C-Long. He got noted earlier, but Leo on a mad wide swing. 
That's no Ferrari peak. That was absolutely nothing at all. But the plant goes off. Whew, I feel winded after watching it, but they're going to try and bound right back in. Twisting, though, going to play the deeper off angle. Do they check? No. That's sloppy from Bonkar. I kind of expected a little more. There we go. Ultimate as well. Adding insult to injury. Twisting just laying down the pain wide. Swing has to, but he can't find the kill for it. Forced to fight. Does eventually go down, but a great trade out. A two for one trade. He'll take that any day of the week. Yeah, that's his spike noted as well nobody else on tropic flex and actually really it's only the cypher that can flex out of garage and drake and doing his usual lurking around now you're seeing gonna retrieve the spike find themselves in a 2v4 now gotta find this kill and hips actually gonna put him down with the spectre these it's the one member left for guild now draken spike down in sewer <laughs> a, a, a tall order he goes without saying. Going to pop the trap wire. Cover the position out. now noted. He's going to smoke off A link and try and actually come back and catch one of these players. He did make a step there, though. So, yeah. Law's going to anticipate that, unfortunately. Okay. Last round. Yeah, maybe just try and catch the enemy off guard. Post up somewhere. Let's see. Okay. You're seeing too good for him. He actually had the advantageous peak there. Straight away, and Tropic actually going to respond with two kills of their own. Law going to find a third as well. So, down to a 2v2 now. After Leo finds hit, Rolling Thunder invested as well. They're going to force the issue here. Oh, Taimu. What the oh, shot? No, no Leo. <laughs> and now just one left alive. It's Bonkar left in a 1v2, but the timing. The timing. Oh, I thought he could have spun it around on a dime. But in Tropic, stabilize, I think, is the best Tropic look like now. They're on the kind of more instigating side. I'd love to see. Look at this. <laughs> Twist and just just out of it. Just just straight up dazed and confused, but safe right there. That's not bad though. Hip gonna make their way in and they aren't stopping. Even with the loss of one, they're gonna continue straight forward. Spike in hand now lost. Hip had it before. Tries to be recovered, but takes damage. And now again, yes, they've made it to the side, but merely to be absolutely mangled by Guild. They didn't even wait for the spike to be toyed with. They just played... Lots of utility getting traded back and forth right now. And this all plays into Guild's hand, to be honest. The clock runs down. They will find Twistin to open it up. Oh, Taimu is just doing him dirty. Safe goes down. Taimu backs away. And then Tropic, they, well, they've made an impression. right? They've shown presence towards Seelong. They're going to re-smoke it and then kind of look for another option. See if they can punish a rotation or two. As it stands, they've at least kind of fallen away from the stack. Three players re-engaging down towards Garage, at least for now. Maybe show a little bit of presence. Whether or not they commit that way is yet to be seen. Looks like time who's toying with the idea. Leo on the other side does take a little bit of a look. Swats out the Owl drone. Gets rid of that, but they do lose garage control. So that C intent is being shown. Maybe the fake towards A is going to keep them guessing, but Draken's off angle's good. Could do with another here, and he gets another. Going to at least keep this one from spiraling out of control. Leaving just Laura alive in, what, a 1v3? Classic to hand. 38 HP. I'm not a believer. 18 seconds. And it's done for. Guess where the hit's going to come through. So let's see what the plan's like. Do they get flashed? Do they have a swing out? It looks like the jump peak comes in. Let's see if there's a flash to come through soon. There it is. They turn it slightly, but they make progress towards the site. But there is still Yassine hanging around. He's still playing quietly here, but he doesn't need to show his hand until now. But he can't make it land. He waited so long. And then finally on the swing, he gets dealt with so quickly. This site take has worked. Entropic now with a spike down. Good post plants. The retake is going to be rough by all accounts. Yeah, two members of Entropic down to low HP. Obviously safe with this ghost. He doesn't manage to escape all the way around to heaven. Actually, maybe not going to anticipate this push coming through. The paranoia gets sent up. See, that's one of... I was going to say, that was not one of the players that was low HP there. Law will find the kill. Drake's position now spotted all the way back over towards mid-window. Only a Spectre in hand. Yes, it was the bonus round for Guild, but this is a massive win for it. Spike planted. Spike planted. Take flight. And nobody falling on either side just yet. So we're going to see the full 5v5 retake coming through for Guild. Lots of flashes getting sent through yet, but nobody really coming through. You see he's going to be the first one through. He's going to find Twisting immediately. Apo got to do something here. We'll find Leo through the dark cover. But that just equalizes it now and now. Next kill comes through. 4v3 and Tropic forced off the site already. Here we go. Law going to just push in on this one. That's great work in conjunction no with Taimu's ult coming out. But now on 1v2 and the time. 
Get out of there, boys. Bonka just has to try and bide his time. And honestly, that was a, a again. These retakes are so scary at this point. Elsewhere yet, and it does work really well. No push from more. Oh, the bait's gonna cost your life there. You could have swung on that, but maybe feeling the timing just wasn't there in the end. And now, yes, Yasin does die for this, but the information he's found is pretty massive. And actually, one more player now noted up in heaven. They've only spotted timer. Actually, now, oh my god, he still finds that one. Draken will fall. Stopping now. They get the man advantage, find themselves in a 3v2. 17 seconds left. Spike will go down on A site here. Yeah, Spike planted. 3v2 post plant now. Retake trying to find something, but that breach is being given almost no options. And you can see the push now coming out. I love that. Takes some more territory away. And Leo's now slightly surrounded. He can't back to the stairs. He can only go towards the site unless he tries to take a pretty unfavorable fight here. There's no easy way out of this. He has no utility left. And he's got players just harassing behind him. Gets one, gets a second. But timing's a factor. He's got to get a move on. Surely he doesn't expect it. No, Taimu with the deeper angle. And Taimu, we do have a ghost there. I think that's a sheriff in the hand of Draken. Uh, the jump peak again. This is a similar setup. We saw it before the breach hits the flash and the swing comes out. But this time Twiston just flies on in. And around this point, we'll see if there's any damage. There it is, Sheriff's Ooh, Gore. Is Leo, Draken, both there. Gun now picked up. Leo carries on. Suddenly, there's Danger of Foot Guild. How did they pull this one back together? Hits the reload, hits the gun switch. But Taimu hits the shot. And now safe left in the 1v2. This became possible. This shouldn't have been. Let's have a look, see how far he can approach. He's got towards the site. He's made it on towards the site, which is a big step. But I think he's been noted. Taimu with the pre-fire, but now, yes, definitely oh, no. spotted. Now timing's everything. Can he build? Oh, can he build anything to this? It's, it's a tag, but it's definitely not enough. He needs a frag off this. Another tag comes in. Another tag. And now finally the frag, but the reload. He's got two, three. No way. Still needs to keep going on this one. He needs to try and find the information. No more he knows where he is on short, but timing's everything. No way. And I'm pretty sure the omen on the... He's got it halfway. He's got it oh, halfway. Please. You don't need to overpeak. You can just chill. You know he's not on the. You know he's not on the spike. Oh god, this is, this is another good. disaster. Oh no. Thrifty. Oh no. Let's see if they actually walk into the trap once again. The flash is perfect. Oh. Actually, Yasin gonna find the first one. The counter flash comes oh, through. This is sketchy. Yeah. Yasin's made it out of this. I mean, for now. That was perfect, though. The, the counter flash literally stops anybody forcing you seen out of that corner. A lot of faith placed on the setup there. And Tropic, though, immediately going to try and swing back. Safe going to find all of this information. And now instantly trying to hit back through. They've been kind of herded around into this. Guild have the perfect crossfire Jeez. in place. You're not getting in today, boys. Leo shuts it down. And by all accounts, that was the perfect round for Guild. The aggression on... Any second now. Keep your eyes, see if there's any pressure that can be found elsewhere. As it stands, you've seen a bit of a problem. They're going to keep them boxed in on the side here. Leo's yeah, this is... found one. They've they've kind of got them at least held in for now. It's actually really awkward, the fact that you've seen his... Oh my god, Bonkar jumps through. It's probably going to find two kills for himself, but it will fall on the side of... Drop it here, and you've seen Stella Nuisance down long. Draken going to swing out, find time over. Rotation coming through here. Spike's making his way all the way back over towards A. Draken's on it. And yeah, that's th that stalemate really playing into the hands of Guild, to be honest with you. I, I kind of like this. So Draken's on the case. He's there so early. I don't think they're going to be predicting it so yet. Have any but he might just get caught off by... Yeah, there's no way they expect him to be there that fast. Great work from Draken. I was worried that Heaven player might just spot it. Might just be looking that way to you know create a safe plant. But Twister now going to just slip into the smoke himself. Try and find the quick 1v1. Maybe capitalize on how far ahead Draken is from his teammate. Unable to do so. And now problems start to mount. He's got his own... Other player coming around. There it is. Draken starts to feel well confident, played. but I've got to say the timing on his move then was perfect. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I don't know if Law had a, a smoke in his hand or what, but...
Yeah, he swings and roundabouts. Look at the bike coming back in for Guild. It, it's it's certainly not yeah. pretty. I'm seeing a frenzy. I'm seeing, you know, there's plays from the default side to allow that play to come up. But now already Leo's going to take this one over. Two big kills to Leo. start with. And only a trade out comes in now. Information being garnered and damage being dealt through. Not a great deal, but enough to keep Entropic on their toes. And now as they try and make their approach, they've lost track of who's where. You still have Raze towards Long. It looks like they're aware there's a chance a Raze could be there. They're cautious, but that Aldrin gives away the game. That Raze is now on red alert and Bonkar can keep being a problem with that frenzy. Revealing area. I love that though. As soon as Leo catches contact, gets that first kill, Bonkar pops the Hunter's Fury. As soon as they have the information there are players there, immediately gets invested. See now try and slow play this once again behind bricks on a long and Tropic still looking as if they want to lean towards a site here. They're, 30 seconds left now. They're pretty much committed, to be honest. Bonkar, if he gets anything with this frenzy. Ooh, the spam. No reload. It's a way to an angle. Okay, spots when a long flash comes in. He knows there's more trouble coming this way. That wasn't a breach that got picked up. That's time we went down. You've seen it's still going to be a problem. Bonkar can create a really dirty crossfire here. And here comes the ultimate. Doesn't quite find it, but the frenzy will. And now just one alive. Hip to try and do it all in a 1v4. Eight seconds. Not going to happen. Bonkar is there. Back uh, through the previous and um, Guild obviously winning out both pistols on Haven. You got to say that, is it? You, especially when you come to a 13-11 score scoreline, right? Um, so again, maybe looking for Entropic to try something, mix things up a little bit now with a different map in terms of the pistol rounds. Ready, uh, mid take. But look at this kind of scenario on towards B. Look at the stack they've gone for. The defensive side. I'm, I'm kind of interested by this. It looks like it's to try and set into motion a little bit of information play, but Safe's going to find one, not necessarily for free, but he does find Lore eventually. And there's that split coming in through middle. And now it's going to isolate the final player. This is a very, very well constructed pistol round coming out from Guild so far. And I thought there was a bit of a counterplay in motion from Entropic, that kind of three play stack. If maybe they'd given up middle, expecting the plays to come through from there. But as it stands, they kind of got overwhelmed by it and now just two left alive. Here. The Twiston of the Sheriff, so we'll wait and see how disciplined guild players as the time we're just gonna try and full on bait. Actually in Tropic all three, two drifting towards top mid. Actually, Guild gonna find their entry onto A site. You see we'll upgrade a weapon, so now five rifles on the side. And actually Draken all the way at top mid, look at that on the minimap, he's gonna find both of those kills. It just leaves Timer in mid now. Safe still all the way over towards B lobby. Hell, Taimu actually does come out on top of that 1v1. Spike plan. You see Taimu just holding these short exits. But the power of, let's say, oh, hold on, Taimu might get checked on here. They're retaking mid. Have a little look. Ray's looks to be the one to find it. You see Taimu oh, yeah. peeking towards CT side. Yeah. Okay. Gun's been taken away. That's some really good upgrades as well. Going to get those vampires. Oh, sure as well. And he's... Yeah. I mean, they're all the way out. Darkens actually going to find Hip eventually. That's going to let Entropic know what's up. We just switched off their law. We'll find one. Leo will quickly trade that back through. Twiston did find that kill on short onto safe. And Leo actually going to go right up onto Taimu. He's going to find Apo as well. That's going to at least kind of cut off one avenue of approach. That Sage can keep track and does. Leo's being instrumental in this. And now Twiston just behind the able. He's not going to be able to get there. Spike now going to be toyed with 13 seconds. Make it 10. This is going to be very late in the day. Biding time is the name of the game. And that's what they're going to try and do. But that's one kill. Spike does go down. Where is the spike in play? It's not been recovered. Twiston just needs to play the time so well and does. And yes, in the chaos, it was indeed Entropic to keep their cool. Defensive side. You seem to try and clear, but this is still going to be a hard hit. Twiston has not been moved. Spammed out, sure, but Jet can readjust just fine. And you see him going to pile on forward. Does just do one. The attacking Killjoy trying to get involved here. Twiston is still operating yet. Yeah, the, the crossfire holds. Unable to move anyone away. Safe is, is a little too late to the party. They're going to try and follow up on his lockdown here. One player in hell. He's going to find that headshot to Apo, actually. The Nano... Will potentially clear him out of that corner, but time who holds the line will clean that one up. A really, really nice. That's where it gets tricky. Retaking with an op is always going to be hard. Time who can just spam out hell. I don't think a player can really sit in here too easily. Let's see. Oh, you can see the chunk of damage just gets dealt, but they need to find that way back in. 
These post plants aren't going to be easy to dig out of position. It looks like APO is going to be the first one forward. Going to try and clear through. Isolates Bonka. Finds the fight on the second. No trade available. Hit finally falls into it. Now Leo, though, has been super clutch for this side. He might need to be again, though, cleared out. Has to swing on it. Oh, Twiston! Twiston, what is that? Safe just getting styled on. Twiston is just playing dirty right now. Now, Safe should be watching for this, but Law's got a better angle, I feel, but doesn't quite hit the shot as cleanly as they'd like. But they're going to pressure this issue. Safe now, though, turns the flash and bonkers there. Oh, my God. Again. Guild holding on to these. Yeah, I guess they're anticipating it was going to be... Oh, Timer, you're taking a lot of damage as well. Fall all the way back off that angle, but... I guess maybe I'd say, oh, Yassim finally shows his hand. Twisting going to spin back around on that one, find a kill to him. Now find themselves in a 2v4, a 1v4 now. All of the control goes over to Guild, and finally it's the classic to shut it down. Sage by his side, and a lot of work in front, but there is a couple of tagged up players. They could still do some work here, but that spike positioning is a problem. Yeah, a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Uh, Bonkar and Leo now a massive task ahead of themselves. Actually, both players have been noted here. You just see Entropic looking back towards mid at least, but now all four players focused onto this side. Oh, line going to come through, force them off that main angle. Yeah, Entropic just need the whole line here. Don't give away any freebies here. 30 seconds now. Run the clock down as much as possible. <gasps> no way. It's about to back away from this kind of fallout. Now the site is theirs. Not necessarily free. Leo's just going to spam away at head height and does find twist and probably a scalp you'd want to claim at this point too. Now, Entropic do get a spike plant. It is a weird round, but no matter which way you cut this, Entropic are going to be in a decent enough position to try and hold this. Let's see if they can get a couple of kills, and they do. Taimu oh gets God. aggressive on this, willing to sacrifice himself for the greater good, but now let's see if that greater good comes through. Hip now left in towards a 1v3, and the frenzy holds true, safe on the playback in, and Guild start to kind of build into this half. And Twiston does get himself posted up here, but just on the other side, they want to maybe swing on this, try and isolate towards heaven. That's really well timed, Twiston. Such a problem to handle, but Leo from above finds two, spams away over one, finally, but safe. <laughs> Waiting patiently, and Taimu just nabs the spike, pops it in the pocket, and now is surrounded. It looks like he will now again. Tristan gonna dash up on the back of Bonkar using the Aldrin, and he will find that kill once again. Yeah, game on now. Pushing in now. The issue is Leo, can they create some space? You're gonna have Breach around the back. though. turns on a dime! Finds hit, but finds no more, and Entropic are making this pistol round work for them. Isolating that one player, picking up that one pick has made so much room, but Twiston... That's a big kill. Maybe overstepping a little there, creating this now down to a 2v3. Bear in mind, the two do have superior weapons at this point. I don't think that Entropic will be able to pick up too many guns, but maybe they don't need them. Those sheriffs are looking so good. Draken with one, he needs two more, though. And the tight line being held by Taimu... Now time being a problem side of build. Time who can just spam this away. Draken is in a spot of bother now. Going to try and go on the swing. Vandal to hand. The other omen is low. Time again. Information being fed through. Draken goes in. What a way to just turn this around from Entropic. Finding every... Now I'm going to come through. Really? All right, that's it. Rolling Thunder and a Paranoia Exchange. Safe going to swing on the top of that. We'll get ahead of it and find Twiston. A little bit of a weird peek there into just knowing all that information. Cover going out. Let's bring it through a 4v4 though. You're seeing going to find a kill with the paint shield through the smoke. They're on the site. But Draken's timing could be perfect on this. If he decides to be bold and be brave, he's going to find one for free. Spots out another on the site. But now they need to work out where that cipher is. They have the numbers and the position. Let's see what those final two do. You can see Taimu tried to make the play towards heaven. It didn't work out. Bonkars found him and... Yeah, not going to happen this time for them. Guild very well prepared. That deeper stack towards short nice really worked out well. And I got a little worried when they allowed them to get to the, you know, the site itself. But yeah. no, they seemed fully in control of that. The dirty loadout. The filth loadout. Oh, 
Okay. I was going to say no kill comes through, at least on the back of that early presence shown towards B main, but Draken find two over towards Taz. I guess they line up for him there. Just or headshot comes through for him. Topic now trying to reset back over towards A lobby, it looks like. Good to get in. I mean, the turret's going to give away this information as soon as they walk through A main. It'll be difficult for Entropic to get anything done here, quite honest. Let's see what they get building in this. They've they've been allowed slight control, so they're gonna take it. Build up their own doorway there. Pop it down. Okay, left. Spike now planted. Let's see what they can get. This time around, Timey looks like he's gonna be given at least the fight towards heaven. He's got support by him. Twiston's there. But Leo's found it. Oh, Leo's found Leo's both of them. Yeah. Devastating impact from Leo coming back through. I expected one, but maybe not the second. And Leo's gonna find the third. So simple for Leo. And no problem, and I have to say it, as someone who I'm often critical of, because they are one of the, you know, the bigger names that came across from Counter-Strike, is Dry. Okay, Law's got enough safe. of that. But you're right, safe could be the thorn in the side, he's gonna buy time, that spike now dropped, he knows the information, he tries to buy more time. Exactly Down to about 10 seconds now, they may need to make a mad rush on it, but Taimu, just trying to keep safety on the way, 7 seconds, spike to be planted, no one to deny it now. And now two players left to try and play this back in, and it's all on the main man, Leo, now in a 1v4. Two players a little low. Gets one, no chance on the second. Nicely done by Entropic on the adjustment there of the battle. More vulnerable, here we go though. Nice old paint shell, could bite some time. Pops down the boom bot two towards the left side. I'm gonna follow it up here, try and capitalize on that jet, but no. Twist and refuses to relent, up and over. Has a little bit of a peek, sees one. Oh, backs away, but can't get away from Bonka. 10 seconds, Bonka tries to make the mad dash in, doesn't get it. And it looks like Entropic might have stuck the landing again. Bear in mind, there's still a chance of this. Draken and safe. Safe's found a way forward. No one actively watching this deeper angle. Or oh, maybe not as deep as he'd wanted on that. Safe now gonna look over towards the catwalk side instead. And again, so tricky to play back in with these ops. And they're not giving away anything. And Tropic are really digging in deep here. They do not want to let this go for free. And I think at this point, Guild are gonna have to accept their fate. They're gonna try and lock him in at least. But it ain't going to be easy. Draken's going to switch out as well. He's just going to throw that off away. And there we go. This is the scary part. They're going to at least cost him one. Nothing else to be found here. So as it stands... You can watch that clip. Uh, as soon as Guild hear all of that information... Yes, your scene's playing a good spot. The landing still stick. Spamming away, you see, desperate for some connection. But Twister just walks out. What? Gives him a little tap on the forehead, says, sit down, sunshine. We'll be back in a second. But no, this time around, it is just Twister. Look at the adjustment this time. It's going over towards Draken. It's going over towards the Killjoy, on towards A. They now know what's coming. Draken doing work, though. That's great work between him and Safe. Fighting to Leo catching Twister. This could be the downfall. There's the res now, just looking at what's left. Hip still stands but only for so long. What a 